Nigeria's elected leaders are legally entitled to paid holidays, and typically they spend these holidays in exotic foreign destinations. But the world is changing, Nigeria is changing, and as Nigerians, we have to adjust to do things that make economic sense in today's world. Instead of vacationing overseas, why can't our leaders vacation at exotic and beautiful Nigerian locations such as the Yankari Game Reserve in Bauchi, the Obudu Kettle Ranch in Cross River, or Mambila Plateau in Taraba? I have been to these places, and they are as beautiful as any holiday location anywhere in the world. Our economy is facing challenges, and we need to be looking at non-oil resources, and tourism is one area we can make an honest buck. But which tourists would come to Nigeria if our own elite refused the holiday here? Consider the history of the US and the UK. Their leaders habitually spend their vacations within their nations. It is rare for them to holiday overseas. US President Barack Obama recently returned from his vacation to Hawaii, while British Prime Minister had his last vacation in Cornwall in the United Kingdom. The President and the 36 state governors are the chief marketing officers for the nation and their states. Their presence in a local holiday resort will draw the attention of the world. It is not just leaders who should act, we should all begin to patronize local tourist attraction. Tourism fetches South Africa over $5 billion annually and $1 billion in Kenya. In Nigeria, tourism is so insignificant because we do not make enough effort to attract tourists. Our Naira is nose diving, and the only way to salvage the situation is to buy Niger to grow the Naira. My name is Ben Murray Bruce, and I just want to make common sense.